Hi Aquarius, welcome to your love reading for April 2023. This is Feline Intuition. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. So let's see what's coming up for you when it comes to love. What are the love messages for Aquarius? Anxiety. Unexpected. Single and snake. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, there may be some unexpected communication happening, especially if you're single. Hold on. What do we have for Aquarius for April? Out with the old, in with the new. Spiritual cleanse. Do a spiritual cleanse. Spiritual cleanse if you do, if you are feeling anxiety. Um could help we have union and we have spirit force ending some of you may be worried about what's next in love there could be a commitment i'm seeing you doing some kind of shift um that could cause you to attract someone quicker than you think if you're single but let me see the person that aquarius is currently thinking about Okay, there's some some of you have ended a connection the person on Aquarius mind what's the energy between them for April what's the energy between the two for April could be an Aries for some of you there's somebody watching your page some Emperor male or female They're guarded, but they're watching, like they're, I don't know, that's weird, but <laughs> you may have some kind of new connection. Some of you may have a fling coming up. Like, I feel like it's mainly if that's what you want, like if that's what you're looking for. There's some kind of person who's like physically attractive, but you don't really see a future with them. I don't feel like that's for a lot of you. It just kind of came up, but there is some type of movement with some with someone with the person on your mind but some of you may have other options either you do or, the, or your person does because i see like a reconnection but i see like someone still looking yeah if it's you who feels like this person has other options you're probably going to eventually just quit them and manifest something, something more stable with the Queen of Pentacles. There's either a quick run-in with a past person or a quick run-in with someone you know you're not gonna settle down with. Could be reconnecting with this past person or attracting someone new. I just feel like there's gonna be a connection for you. But it's like something happens in between. I'm not, let me see. Could be a Capricorn for some of you. Let's look at your main spread for April. What are the love predictions for Aquarius? For April. What's coming up for Aquarius in love? Someone feels like, <clears throat> someone feels spiritually connected to you. Their feelings for you, the high priestess. Something about somebody kind of overseeing you or like connecting with you on a spiritual level, like even when you're not in their presence. Because I felt that with the emperor as well, but I'm like, is this real? <laughs> um, so this could be someone who's actually waiting for you to see them, like waiting for you to notice them. 
they could have had their eyes on you before, like from before, but you may have been caught up in a situation. I do see that you currently ended something. So you were caught up in something, but there's someone who had their eyes on you the whole time you were with someone else. And they were just waiting for that to be over. <laughs> so they may, they may be the ones popping up unexpectedly. I'm hearing for some of you, it could be an ex before the, from before the last person, which is, Strange. I don't know if that's for a lot of you, but I just heard that. So I don't know if you have like a different type of connection with them or maybe you have kids with that past person and they want to reconnect with you, bring the family back together. I don't know, but you are in like this nine of swords energy while someone is kind of just waiting to swoop in. Like they've been planning this. They've been waiting for you to become single. So they may communicate with you very soon if you have more than one option i see you dropping one i see you choosing one in the end sometime um mid-april to the end of april why this high priestess where for the high priestess could be a taurus for some of you Hold on a minute. Why the Ten of Wands? Clarify the Ten of Wands, please. <sighs> I want to say for a small amount of you, be careful of someone who's trying to sweep it, swoop in because you're vulnerable. But for those of you, if this is someone you have kids with, they feel like it's best that they're around the kids instead of someone else. They may have not been ready for a family back then, but they are now, or they didn't like seeing someone else being around. They're so weird and too specific, so that's not for a lot of you, but it could be a Leo. There's just something about, tell me more about their feelings. Tell me more about their feelings. What's going on with their feelings? The Emperor again. Why does it look so shady to me? This person may be realizing that your past person was just not stable or not for you, didn't provide stability. Either it's that or they're seeing you as um, vulnerable and they're sweeping in. So be careful. Let's just see if anything else comes out to support that. If not, then, you know, we'll see. Clarify the hangsman. Why the hangsman? I'm gonna ask a question, so hold on. Um, hold on. How are they seeing, there could be a Sagittarius. How are they seeing Aquarius? How does this person see Aquarius? How do they see Aquarius? Okay. How do they see Aquarius? Tell me more. Okay, so they are serious about you. I'm just making sure because you know, I was just making sure. So they, they, they feel like your ex was not stable, didn't provide you with stability. And they want to do that because they're seeing you as their ten of pentacles and two of cups. Okay. I'm being drawn to spirit force ending. So it's like this connection did end. Or maybe this person did some type of voodoo to make it end. <laughs> I'm just joking. They all showed up as a high priestess, so you never know, but why the nine of swords? Why the nine of swords? You're gonna be pick you're gonna pick yourself back up quickly. You are not gonna be in this nine of swords for too long. If you're in this nine of swords watching this right now, maybe by tomorrow you feel you feel better. <laughs> Cause the fool and the ace of wands. I don't know. Maybe this person's going to show up and bring the sun back out. Because you are seeing them as the sun. And they do have the sun in their energy. Some of you may have a sun together. Or suns. Why the sun? Clarify the sun. Oh boy. You've been watching their page. Well, just looking at it. Here and there. 
Yeah, some of you have seen this person as someone you lost. Maybe this is an ex. Maybe you, a, maybe you had something with this person at some point. Or you have kids with them. Hmm. You could also be seeing them as recently going through a breakup or a loss. Clarify the Six of Swords in reverse, please. So maybe this is your baby daddy or mom, baby mom, for a lot of you, if you have kids. It's someone you don't want to, there's someone you don't want to move on from. So I don't know if, if that's speaking about this person or the person you recently ended things with. Maybe the past person is a snake and you, things ended with them. And this person just waiting for you to see the truth, to see that that person was fake and that you should be with them instead. <laughs> um, why the why the hierophant in reverse? Mm, this could be someone you dealt with already that things turn around because they want to come up out the cold, but I don't feel like it's the recent ex that you left. It could be for some of you, but there's something about this person waiting for something to end so they could come in. So, I don't know. Clarify the page of ones. Not that they wanted you to have this bad breakup, but they're seeing some someone is unstable, so this person may have just hated the way someone treated you. Verify page of wands. Yeah, someone could have cut off communication with you. Betrayed you in some way, someone immature. For some of you, there's someone who doesn't like how your child's father or mother is treating you. They feel like they just um, had kids with you and, and left or they're not being a, they're being a deadbeat. It could be flipped that way for some. Like someone not liking how your the, the other parent of your kids is treating you and the kids. If there's kids, I don't know why I keep saying that. But somebody sees marriage with you, union, whether you have kids or not. They see union with you, ten of pentacles, two of cups, and the union card. This is not made up, guys. Why the two of pentacles in reverse? be a Capricorn there's someone that you're dropping you're probably gonna like this person you think you can't move on from you're probably gonna move on for them from them really quickly especially if it's to do with this person coming in and kind of like swooping in like a hero you're probably just gonna let go of someone because I see you having a problem letting go of someone or having them stuck on your mind to you actually being able to move on from them. But there's something about someone having some type of toxic hold on you at one point. I feel like whoever this is, they hate that person. They, they feel like they know the games that that person played and they think it's unfair. But a lot of you, you're probably gonna just be working on yourself a lot and focusing on work. And taking back your power from someone. Let's see. So what are the love messages for Aquarius? For April. Trust. Missing you. Mutual feelings. And blooming. You have to choose the characters here because I don't know who's who at this point. One person is missing you. Someone has mutual feelings. What do we have for Aquarius? Unlocked potential. There's something about you shifting that causes this. Like you go from being from missing someone and feeling like you can't get over them to like just kind of shift into that's it. Um, I'm moving on. I don't know how it happens. I don't know if you do an actual shift through meditation or if it's just this person coming in that kind of 
changes your mind a bit and kind of is there for you and puts you in a better mood some kind of shift happens where you think you're going to be stuck on this person but you're not going to be destined soul ties someone feels like this is meant to be we have we outgrew each other so it could be um Yeah, you outgrew them because there's something about someone being childish. And maybe as you matured, they start getting they started to get intimidated by your maturity, by your growth. What do we have for Aquarius for April? Healing, interference, soulmate recognition and know your worth, you see? Still saying the same thing. Moving on from someone, recognizing your soulmate, going into this commitment and being happy, just boom, 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 like instantly. I know it sounds, it sounds like I'm exaggerating, but I see it happening quickly. Not that you're gonna rush with this new person, but you're gonna meet them quite soon or you already know who they are, but they haven't told you how they truly feel. Again, it could be, a, your child's father or kid's father or mother who wants to give this another go. What's the advice for Aquarius? Deal with it. Give it time. Wake up and move on. So yeah, I don't feel like you'll have to give it much time because there's something happening quite quickly. But you're waking up and moving on from someone and this person over here is glad that you put down that burden that you're ready you're ready for a real ten of cups and the sun so yeah this is what i'm seeing for you aquarius for april could be a capricorn could be a taurus aries sagittarius leo Yeah, those are the main signs. So I hope this was helpful. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.